Okay, y'all, feedback. There is very little in this world that is more important than feedback. It's essential to relationships. It's essential to business. It's essential to every single thing that we do. <laughs> I mean, if you think about audio equipment, you know what I'm saying? If you're getting feedback uh, in the sound, then that means that that which you have set the levels at for the equipment or the placement of the mic relative to uh, to the sound outputs, the speakers or whatever, is not proper. And so you get feedback. And that feedback is telling you to uh, make some changes in what you're doing. Feedback is important in relationships. You know, don't wait to... Uh, 10 years into marriage to communicate everything that you have, uh, that you see wrong in your spouse. Uh, you, you have to communicate every single time that there's a problem, uh, or, or else you have not properly given your spouse an opportunity to make the kind of changes that you want to see, um, in your spouse. And, um, this is longer than a minute because uh, I, I really feel like this is important today. I really want us to get this concept of, uh, feedback. All right, and so um, I'm thinking about this because um, you know, it, there's a lot of reasons why I'm thinking about this, and it, it, it's even relevant to uh, sports because um, last night the Red Wings, for the first time in uh, 26 years, after 25 years of going to the playoffs, this is the first year that they are not going to the playoffs. Uh, we, we, we have different rewards that are set up in sports, in competition, uh, to kind of signify that you have done something effective, that you have done something good. Uh, making the playoffs in your sport on a yearly basis, uh, that's giving you, as an organization, uh, and it's giving the fans some kind of feedback that at least you're doing something right enough to make the playoffs to go to the postseason because you have to qualify for the uh, for for the postseason. So having that feedback, uh, it, that that is a level of feedback in 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 making the playoffs because it's not something that every team in your league or association or whatever does that. But uh, as I said, the 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 feedback must be uh, must be frequent and it must be effective. Like I said, you can't go 10 years without communicating with your spouse and then uh, dump everything on them at one time. So it must be frequent, but uh, it must also be effective. If we go back to sports for a second and we if we think more about the Red Wings 25 uh, year playoff streak, a lot of those years that they made the playoffs, of course, they were at the pinnacle of the NHL. They were the gold standard of the NHL for a long time. And uh, in that time, they switched over from uh, being a non-salary cap sport to a salary cap sport. And that affected a lot of teams. And, and it didn't necessarily affect the Red Wings the same way at first because uh, we had a lot of superstars on our team. And as those superstars began to retire, then you saw the effect of it. Whereas we used to be... Um, one or two uh, in the Western Conference every single year for many, many, many years of that playoff streak. You know, as uh, each icon of the sport of hockey began to retire, you know, we, we, we started to get worse and worse. And probably the, the last, what, five, six years, maybe even seven years of that streak, uh, we were the seventh or eighth seed and uh, getting knocked out in the first or second round of the playoffs uh, every single year. And it was going to catch up with us at some point in time. And uh, this is that time. This this is uh, that feedback that we are looking for now uh, to say, you know what? We're not good enough anymore and we need to make changes. But uh, when I say that the feedback has to be effective, what I mean by that is... Um, the feedback that you get of the positive reinforcement of making the playoffs from year to year, uh, there is a point at which that does not become an effective means of uh, feedback anymore. Because uh, if you set your sights on just making the playoffs and uh, furthering your historic streak, but not really looking under the hood to see you know, why you're only making it as the eighth seed every year rather than uh, the number one, two, or even three seed, 
then you know that feedback is not effective anymore. You're not you're not taking that feedback uh, for what it really is, and you have to do that in order to be able to make the kind of changes uh, that you need to make to sustain excellence. And that's what I want for all of you, and that's why uh, I was willing to let this video go longer than a minute today. We have to sustain excellence. That's what's most important, and that's what I want for you today. God bless. Feedback.